Okay, welcome to another quick and easy mentalism trick. This is another uh, psychotom psychometry trick. Basically, it uses a bunch of uh, cards and uh, four or five envelopes. Now, I'm using uh, little miniature cards and little coin envelopes strictly because it fits into your wallet very easily. So it's very compact, easy to carry. You could use regular cards and uh, so the spectator would choose a card at random, place it inside their envelope, and close the envelope. They have a completely free choice of whatever card they want to choose. So all four or five spectators would just choose a card at random, and stick it inside their envelope. Next, you would have someone from the group mix up all the envelopes, make sure you don't know who chose what. And this entire effect is done while your back is turned or you're out of the room. When they're done, they call you back. And you come and you choose an envelope, any one. You open it up and you reveal their card. And now it's up to you to use your psychometry to find out who selected this card. The spectators don't say one word. This is all done by you. And sure enough, one by one, you open up all the envelopes and you know exactly who chose what without even saying a single word. Your back was turned the entire time and you make a prediction psychic feel of who chose which card. Psychometry at its best, folks. Simple and easy to do mentalism Tutorial trick. To who gets what? The psychometry mentalism trick. Um, it's true they can have a free selection of whichever card they chose. The cards are ungimmicked. The secret lies, and of course, you guessed it, the envelopes. Let's take a close-up look at the so envelopes. To the average layman, to the average person, these envelopes all look identical. But upon closer examination, we can see envelope number one, normal. Envelope number two, however, has a little tiny pencil dot in the upper left-hand corner. Up envelope number three has a pencil dot in the center. Envelope number four has a pencil dot on the upper right hand corner. This is very faint and it's unknown to the spectator. So basically what you would do is hand out these envelopes in that order. Spectator number one would get the uh, totally ungimmicked one, unmarked. Spectator number two would get the one in the left hand corner. Spectator number three would get the what dot pencil dot envelope in the middle. And spectator number four would get the uh, pencil dot in the uh, upper right hand corner. So you'd hand these envelopes out in a sequential order. Now they don't know that. The dots are very faint. These look like normal envelopes. You only see the envelopes when you open them up. And look in that little crease right there. It's a very tiny pencil dot. They're not going to notice that. So you get a bunch of cards. You mix them all up. You have the spectators draw them on one at a time. And this is done behind your back. So they put a card inside the envelope. And when they're all done, they gather up all the envelopes. And they mix them all up. And then you turn around. And you just simply open up the envelopes one at a time, paying close attention to the dots. And once you see that dot, you know that the first spectator doesn't have a dot, second spectator has a dot on the left, third spectator has a dot in the middle, fourth spectator has a dot on the right. Very easy to do. Do not underestimate the power of this trick. Psychometry, easy quick mentalism. Enjoy.
the V, the V, and that's all, folks.